I just heard it, just a loud bang, as if like the police was at the door. In exclusive video, we can now see everything playing out on security cameras. It's all happening within a second, so. You know, as men, our natural instinct is to provide and protect, especially when it comes to women. And that can be one of our biggest downfalls. Jumping every time a woman say something or every time she's running off at the mouth is a no-no. Now we're going to take a look at this video and we're going to come right back. 911 calls for help flood into dispatch around midnight. Things escalated so quickly. For the first time, Travis Rudolph talks about the night he says four men showed up at his front door. I just heard just a loud bang as if like the police was at the door. In exclusive video, we can now see everything playing out on security cameras. It's all happening within a second, so our brother was the first one to get to the door, so I was worried about his safety as well. Who is Where's Travis at? Where's Travis at? Travis at? According to court records, Rudolph and his then-girlfriend, Dominique Jones, got into a fight earlier that night. Open this door, bro, because this bitch got me. Dominique, stop. Who are you calling a bitch, bro? Afterwards, she texted her brother, Keyshawn Jones. Evidence shows they both made threats towards Rudolph. As soon as I came outside, literally, Tyler, like, he sucker punched me to my left eye. It was Tyler and Sebastian. It was, like, kind of trying to corner me in. And um, Tyler, he had pulled out his firearm. And during that time, Tyler pulled out his firearm. Sebastian was like, you messed with the wrong girl. You're going to die tonight. And then that's when I went back inside and grabbed my firearm. Isn't it true that you were the first person to become physically violent when Travis, with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all? Something or show me something. If you, I can't recall the exact steps of the moments. Question. Okay, so you were the first one to become physically violent with Travis, not the other way around. Answer. Correct. Yes, I said correct. You remember that? Yes. So you smashed his iPhone, not out of anger, but because you were hurt? Yes. Okay. And I didn't send my brothers to kill him. No, you just sent a text to go shoot up it, right? I, I didn't say shoot him. I was upset and I my adrenaline was running and I said something that I didn't mean. My, it was like my second home. I would not want anything to happen there. All right. And he never raised a hand and touched you, did he not? Yeah, he was raising his hand the whole time, like grabbing me, pushing me back. Yeah, the whole time. Okay, so he was, did he punch you? No, he didn't punch me. Did he slap you? No, he didn't slap me. Did he pick up any objects and hit you over the head with them? No. You were also sleeping over his house pretty much on a daily basis. That's what you told the jury yesterday? Correct. And it was during this time that you and Travis were dating that you were actually married to another man, Andre Chinsang. Is that correct? Legally separated, but correct. Approximately how long you knew Dominique Jones before April 7th of 2021? Uh, I'll say I knew her for about a year. And what was your relationship? Uh, can you characterize it? Not after this incident, but I'm talking when you first met her, the first couple of weeks, first few months, can you characterize your relationship with her? Um, I definitely had a lot of love for her. Uh, we was dealing with each other, but we wasn't officially girlfriend and boyfriend because I, I told her pretty much that I wanted to take my time at really getting to know her because everything starts off good and glamour until you, something hits the fan. We, the jury, find as follows. As to count one, we find the defendant not guilty. As to count two, we find the defendant not guilty. As to count three, we find the defendant not guilty. As to count four, we find the defendant not guilty. So say we all, the seventh day of June, 2023. Guys, if you're not familiar with this Travis Rudolph case, Travis Rudolph, ex-Florida State football player, started dealing with this young lady. He explained to her that he wanted to take it slow. She wanted to move things forward, meaning a relationship. But what he didn't know was that she was married, slash separated. When things didn't move the way she wanted them to move, she got violent. Instead of him going above and beyond to harm this young lady, he subdued her closed the door, and then locked her out. Locked her out, uh, out of social media, probably stopped answering her phone calls, blocking her, doing all that stuff. And when she couldn't get out her rage towards him, 
She do what a lot of women do most of the time. They call their brothers. Sometimes dealing with a, a wife will call her husband when she's out doing things, running off at the mouth, and, and she's probably the one at fault. Or even if she's not at fault, they go calling someone. So what she did well, she called her brothers, and I'm sure, like most women, they claim, oh, he abused me, he put his hands on me, playing on their emotions. That's what she's doing. But as we can see from the door from the door cam, she lied. She lied. Now, this happened two years ago. And this young man has been on trial ever since. After the argument cease between the two of them four guys showed up at Travis's house a shootout occurred one man ended up deceased and the other man ended up wounded all because she felt the need to involve other people in her mess women do this all the time oh I'll go call my brother or I'll go call my husband well damn it your brother a lot of times has a well i know for sure he has a mother that loves him has a father that loves him sometimes these young men have children that need to be raised by him and you got him involved in your mess see a lot of these women they predict the outcome and then the brothers or the husband they get all emotional oh i need to go over there and do this i need to go i'm gonna go show you. man listen you don't know how the scenario is going to play out. You're playing it out where you can control the outcome, but you don't know what the outcome is going to be. All because you she, you involved in her mess. A lot of these women pop off at the mouth. It's cause problems. And then they involve, a, a, and they can cause a person to lose their life, cause these young men to end up in jail for the rest of their life, or end up... the them doing something to somebody else over words. It's not like the guy came up to her and tried to harm her. She don't know this man, he tried to harm her. Or he was over there beating her half to death. And, you know, that's I, I'm not going to say that's a valid, that's a reason. Because that's why you pay all them high ass taxes. To let the police go over there and do their job. That's why you pay taxes. But I, I, I can give you a little, I can understand a little bit. But just because you involved in a relationship that's not going your way you're gonna put this these men lives at risk and one man ended up dying and the other man ended up wounded I, the, the same scenario happened with John Morant's mother man I read I, I read a story where she got into it with this guy at Foot Locker or one of those sports stores and she goes I'm gonna call my son you literally going to put your son life at risk most people like his nba career man his life man you don't know what look i'm gonna tell you right now man a guy working at the hamburger stand a bread man will take your life people that's not gonna let you do something to them they're not just you can look at the par you can act the par as you from the streets you from the hood but i'm gonna tell you right now if somebody if you back a person in a the corner they're gonna come out of that corner most of the time I don't care if they're a teenager, if they're old man. They are going to come out of that corner. They're not going to just let you back. Man, this ain't no TV. And a lot of these women, they, they, and that's why I say, guys, my biggest turnoff is these ladies that, that always walk around with this persona about, oh, I'm a blunt, I'm a blunt woman. I speak my mind. I'm very opinionated. I don't want to hear your opinions all the time. You don't need to be running off at the mouth all the time. Everything, a lot of these women, everything is a problem. You go to the restaurant, it's a problem. You meet people, it's a problem. Everything has to be a problem. It's no, hey, we have a problem, let's see how we can rectify the problem. Without it being a real problem. But see, what happens is, it's a small issue. They want to be petty. They get into a, a back and forth. They want the person that they're talking to to buy down to them. They want them to buy down. And when they don't buy down, and they, and, and they understand that, hey, I can't do nothing to this person physically. I'll just call my brother. I'll just call my husband. And they'll come over here and they'll take care of you. 
And it don't always go that way. And 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 she's not thinking about the repercussions that there's other people. Her her brother may have a daughter, may have a young daughter, may have an older daughter that needs to be raised by him. How he's gonna raise the daughter if he's deceased or in jail? How's the mother gonna feel when her son is no longer with her? When her son is in jail. And see, they don't think about that. They don't care. Because you know why they don't care, guys? Because women think their feelings are superior to everything. And as you can see, her body language, the tone of her voice, the way she's answering the question, it's all nonchalant. Guys, I tell you, man, they need to come up with a law. They need to come up with a law that... If an argument occurs and they find, just like this lady, that you call somebody to the scene in order to lay down street justice, then that, that should be a law to throw your ass in jail. Because it's too many young men that's been locked up behind this kind of foolishness. That's too many men that's serving life sentences are they no longer with us behind this type of foolishness?